Hello, Royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of Royal News and Analysis. But before we move on to any further details, I would really love to thank all of you, each and every one of you, for your enormous love and support. And in case you haven't subscribed yet, I mean, what are you waiting for, guys? Hit that subscribe button now. Hit that subscribe button, and also, please don't forget to press that bell icon. When Prince Harry and Meghan Markle opened the doors to their Montecito mansion for a revealing interview, they gave fans more than a glimpse into their lives with their children, Archie and Lilibet. The Duchess opened up to a journalist, Allison P. Davis, for the cut for the New York Times and shared an adorable insight into their parenting. Megan took Allison with her on the school run to collect Archie from his preschool. When they returned home, all eyes were on Lilibet. In a bid to make their sweet girl laugh, Harry took the head as the article revealed, we pull up to the house and Archie leaps out. Harry is ending a phone call as Archie throws himself around his legs. Lilibet, unsmiling with watchful, bright blue eyes, is brought out by her nanny. She is small and also ginger, and when there is a small person in the room not smiling, it is a reflex to do anything to entertain them. Harry starts dancing to his own beatboxing, and Megan bends down and joins in, and then I find myself doing it too, until she gives a lopsided smile and we all realize it's a bit strange to be bonding in this way. The moment is fleeting, but resonates with other parents who do anything to make their babies or toddlers smile. But for Megan and Harry, an insight into their life with their children is extremely unheard of, as the couple proceeds with life away from their previous roles as senior royals. The pair decided to step back and take their family across the pond to the U.S. Writer Allison noted as part of her feature with the royal couple's Archie reaction to seeing his mother at the school gates, he's so excited to see her, she wrote, being mama, mama, mama in his little voice, as he runs toward her that leaves his lunchbox behind on the ground. She scoops him up with a big hug so full of genuine emotion that both close their eyes. Despite the ritual of doing a school run appearing very normal, there's one humbling thing that Megan does do in full view of her young son in a bid to teach him about all walks of life. Allison noted that the Duchess had a black rucksack stowed away containing food and a drink for a homeless man who had been sitting on the corner of a street. She added at a spotlight, she, Megan, reaches into the trunk and proceeds a brand new black backpack and hands it to her security detail to give to an unhoused man on the corner. They're teaching Archie that some people live in big houses, some in small, and some are in between homes. They make kits to pass out with water and peanut butter crackers and granola bars. I ate one, Archie contributes. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex came back to the UK last month for some work engagements. It was during this time that the late Queen Elizabeth died of her old age at her residence on the Balmoral Estate. A couple remained in the country for a national mourning period and are thought to have returned to America too soon afterwards. So what do you guys think about this news? You think that Vicious Megan is using Archie and Lilibet for her future goals? Write it down in the comments section below and let me know what you think. Until then, I guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my Sizzling Roll updates, like this, subscribe, and press that bell icon. It's as simple as that. So until next time, hasta la vista.